The tongue. Ahsan with your speech. Ahsan with your words. An area that we find most of ourselves falling into trouble with. Whether it's excessive talking, exaggerating, lying, argumentation. In this specific episode, I want to focus on the issue of argumentation. There's a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who says, where he says, أَنَا زَعِيمٌ بِبَيْتٍ فِي رَبَضِ الْجَنَّةِ لِمَنْ تَرَكَ الْمِرَاءَ وَإِنْ كَانَ مُحِقًّا That I guarantee, I mean, if we apply these principles, we will find probably 90% of our conflicts resolved. I will guarantee a house for the one around the outskirts of Jannah, for the one who, for the one who gives up argumentation, confrontation, quarreling, even though they are right. But they give up the argumentation, they give up the court because there's no khair in it. And these days you find argumentation everywhere. You find people not doing ahsan in the way they measure their words, measure the way they want to come across, measure the way they want to explain something. You find the masajid, people quarreling. You find people outside, people quarreling. And in households, especially with the lockdown where people are interacting with one another more, quarrels upon quarrels upon quarrels. Instead of measuring how we conduct ourselves and what we say, we slip and then we start to quarrel and then we start to become stubborn and then the argumentation becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. If one was to remember this hadith to give up something, to do ihsan again linking to yourself and doing ihsan in your speech by not saying something that's going to be harmful or even to give up an argumentation when you know you're right, the Rasulullah will guarantee you a house in the outskirts of Jannah. Arguing, as you know, is a very emotional thing. People's heart rates increase. People become upset. Elderly people, particularly, they, they start to sweat. Rasulullah even when he was indirectly being accused of insanity and insulted indirectly, when the Kufar of the Quraysh came to Rasulullah and they tried to allure him away from the message of La ilaha illallah, they said, shall we bring you a doctor? This was the conversation that Abu Walid came to Rasulullah and said, we can get you a doctor that can treat your illness and your insanity. If you want wealth, we can give you all the money you need. If it's property, we can give you property. So all of these things were indirect insults to Rasulullah. And well, how did he respond? He said, have you, I, I have heard you, Abu Walid. And he said, have you finished what you're saying? And then he left. There was no uh, back and forth. There was no argumentation because there is a time and place when there is argumentation, there's a time and place a person judges whether this will bring any benefit. And if it's not going to bring any benefit and the tempers are, tempers are high, as, as we've always been taught to cool down and come back to an issue, to do ahsan in your speech is to review and reflect on how you're conducting yourself. These high standards are set by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for even when he was being insulted, he would conduct himself with great integrity. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says in the Quran, وَقُلْ لِعِبَادِي يَقُولُ الَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنٍ and tell my servants, tell my slaves to say, this is an order from Allah, to say that which is the best. Because these words that come out of your mouth, they can't be retracted. And you know, there's many statements in all cultures, in many, many languages, that the pain that can be created from the mouth or the tongue or your words are more painful than a strike. So we should be careful with what we say. Allah said in the Quran, and tell my servants to say that which is the best. The verse goes on to say, Shaitan induces dissension amongst them, wants you to become in conflict, wants you to have difficulties, wants you to find yourself in a confrontation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us this tawfiq to protect our tongues, to have ihsan in how we conduct ourselves, particularly when we are in a position of an argumentation where it is not made worse and that we exit from one of the plots of Shaitan quickly and smoothly because of ihsan.